And now to the growing battle against COVID-19 in California, one of many hard-hit states in the country. Tonight, we hear from doctors and nurses who continue to fight there, even while dealing with after effects of the virus themselves. Our News Nation correspondent, Nancy Liu, live in Marina Del Rey with their stories tonight. Nancy. And Rob, voices from the front line are filled with exhaustion, emotion, and frustration. And many workers are recovering from COVID-19 themselves, including a nurse here at Cedar sinai Marina Del Rey. I still got flashback symptoms. The fatigue would hit out of nowhere, just super tired. Nurse Joni Stocks is among the army of frontline healthcare workers who have spent the bulk of this year at war against coronavirus. I did a tour in Iraq when I was in the military, and this is, it feels comparable. It's, you feel alone a lot, and you feel tired, and, and honestly depressed sometimes, um, but you push through. The weight of fighting the fight is emotional for those in the battle full time. It's been such a challenge to take care of these patients and also take care of yourself at the same time. But it's been such an honor to be the person at the bedside, you know, and give updates to family members. You know, I'm still having symptoms a month later after having the virus. In a short break from the front line today, Dr. Oren Friedman told News Nation of the challenge in caring for the sickest COVID patients while still recovering from COVID. It's mostly fatigue, shortness of breath, you know, just deconditioning. And um, that doesn't necessarily make it easy to run up and down the stairs of the hospital from ICU, you know, to ICU. It does make it challenging, you know, it really does. It adds, it adds to the kind of stress of the job. To the north in Fresno, where ICUs are also at capacity, there is growing concern over available ventilators. There's going to come a time, if we overwhelm the system, that we're going to have to make a decision, even though both people need that ventilator, that only one person is going to get that ventilator. Life and death situations are happening every hour in California, which is expected to surpass 2 million COVID cases right around Christmas. More than half a million cases have been reported since Thanksgiving. Workers say public complacency about the pandemic adds to the stress. It can be very, very demoralizing, you know, and, and, and the word is moral distress, where, you know, it, it feels as if your work doesn't mean anything and the people that you've watched die don't mean anything their suffering doesn't mean anything you know i i, I think that that is probably the hardest thing to take to perhaps sway dangerous behavior dr friedman draws a parallel to evacuation orders during wildfires when people choose not to evacuate from those areas and then end up calling 911 for help and and then the the rescue workers have to risk their own lives to rescue them out of those areas that's a little bit akin to not wearing your mask, not washing your hands, with the exception that the things that we're asking of people, as hard as they are, they're actually easier than having to evacuate from your home. According to the state health department, nearly 65,000 health care workers in California have contracted COVID-19 and 244 have died. There is a sense of hope as more and more of the front line get vaccinated. Live in Marina Del Rey, Nancy Liu, News Nation.